So you've decided on a Nectar mattress, but you still have six mattresses to choose from. Now today we're gonna take a look at the all foam versions of the Nectar mattress, the Nectar Premier, and the Nectar Premier Copper. We're gonna take a look at their similarities, their differences, and help you choose which one is right for you. Let's get started. Before we hop in, I want to note you receive these mattresses for free from the brand. We may earn a commission if you decide to purchase them. This helps keep this content free for you and helps fund our testing operations. So let's start off by talking about the similarities between these mattresses. And first off, they are all foam mattresses. They all feature memory foam in their top layers. They all have great cooling features. They all have a soft feel that let you sink into the mattress. And lastly, they're all a good option for couples. And now let's take a look at the major differences between these mattresses. And first off, there are going to be some height differences. The Nectar Premier Copper is going to be the tallest mattress. The Nectar is going to be the thinnest mattress. Now also you're gonna get more memory foam with different mattresses. So more memory foam with the Premier Copper and the Premier mattress than what you get with the Nectar mattress. There are also going to be some firmness differences. There are going to be some cooling differences. You get more cooling materials in the higher end mattresses. But because of that, there are going to be price differences. So the Nectar Premier Copper is going to cost more than the Premier, which is going to cost more than the Nectar. So now let's take a look at the construction of all three mattresses, starting off on top and then working our way down. So first off, with the Nectar mattress, a thin breathable cover allows for good airflow through the top of the mattress, also good with moisture wicking. Similar to what you find over on the Nectar Premier mattress, going to be the same exact cover. Now moving to the Nectar Premier Copper, you have a very special copper infused cover. It's going to actually draw heat away from your body, help you sleep super cool during the nights. Now moving down to the comfort layer. So first off with the Nectar mattress, a thick layer of gel infused memory foam. It's gonna help with cooling and pressure relief as well. Now beneath that, a dynamic response layer going to act as a transition layer, keep from sinking too far into the mattress. Now moving over to the Nectar Premier mattress, you're gonna have a thicker layer of gel infused memory foam right on top of the mattress that also features phase change material. Now phase change material is also a high end cooling material, also going to draw heat away from your body, keep you very cool during the night. And beneath that, a dynamic response layer. Now moving over, lastly, to the Nectar Premier Copper mattress, a much thicker layer of gel infused memory foam right on top of the mattress. It also features phase change material for extra cooling. And beneath that also, that dynamic response layer. And finally, speaking of the support layer with these mattresses, they're all gonna feature a firm, supportive base foam. And now let's talk firmness and feel. And starting off with the Nectar, close to a six and a half out of 10, definitely medium in terms of firmness, has a good balance of comfort and support, so I'm sinking into the mattress, but not too far. Moving over to the Nectar Premier mattress, closer to a six out of 10, a little bit softer than average, you have a thicker layer of memory foam right on top of the mattress, so I sink in more, definitely a softer mattress overall. And actually the same firmness over on the Nectar Premier Copper, even with that thicker layer right on top of the mattress, I definitely felt it was close to six out of 10 as well. Now, speaking of feel, with the Nectar mattress, more of that slow moving feel, so it's all about that memory foam feel. When you lie down, the mattress definitely hugs your body, you slowly sink in, it's great with the Nectar. Very similar to what you find with the Nectar Premier mattress, but in my experience, the Nectar Premier Copper has more of a balanced foam feel, so still a soft foam feel where you sink in, but a little bit easier to move around on that mattress. And now let's talk sleeping positions. Starting off on the Nectar. On my back, a great match for me, a good balance of comfort and support. Definitely what you wanna be looking for if you sleep on your back. Your hips are gonna sink in just the right amount. Some good lumbar support where the foam presses up into your lumbar area. The foam's gonna hug your body and good overall supports. Moving to my side, I felt a little bit of pressure on my shoulders and my hips, but I'm a bigger guy, I weigh 270 pounds. You might not sink quite so far, and if you weigh less than me, you should feel better pressure relief than I did. But moving to my stomach, definitely not supportive enough for me, someone of my weight. My hips are blowing into this mattress and I'm getting out of alignment. Now moving over to the Nectar Premier mattress on my back. Not a bad match for me, but it is softer than the Nectar. I felt the Nectar was a better match for back sleeping. But because it is a softer mattress, the Nectar Premier definitely feels better when I'm on my side, feeling no pressure on my shoulders and my hips. Lastly, moving to my stomach again, it's even softer than the Nectar, so even a worse match for stomach sleeping. My hips are definitely sinking far into this mattress, pulling my spine out of neutral alignment. 
Now, finally, moving to the Nectar Premier Copper Mattress. On my back, again, softer than the Nectar. Not a bad match for back sleeping, but if you just sleep on your back, I think you'll want to take a look at the Nectar. Moving to my side again, a super thick layer of memory foam with the Nectar Premier Copper. Great pressure relief on my shoulders and my hips. But with that super thick layer of memory foam, not a great match for stomach sleeping. My hips are sinking super far into the mattress, feeling some lower back strain. If you sleep with a partner, there's two different things you want to think about, motion transfer and edge support. Now, motion transfer means if you're lying down on your side of the mattress and your partner moves around on their side of the mattress, are you going to feel that motion on your side of the mattress? And edge support means if you're sitting or lying down near the edge of a mattress, do you feel secure or more like you're going to roll off and onto the floor? So first off, speaking of motion transfer, these all handle motion transfer very well. They have thick memory foam right on top of the mattress, but if you want the best motion transfer possible, take a look at the Nectar Premier Copper. Now, speaking of edge support, they all have very good edge support, but I think out of all three, the Nectar Premier Copper probably wins out. While it is a soft mattress, it definitely features thicker layers, so I felt better support sitting and lying down near the edge of the Nectar Premier Copper. And now let's talk pricing. And at full price for queen size mattresses, the Nectar is going to cost close to $1,000. The Nectar Premier is going to cost close to $1,300. And the Nectar Premier Copper is going to cost close to $1,700. But we do have some great deals here at mattressclarity.com. You'll find them in the YouTube description below and over on the website. And now the moment you've all been waiting for, which Nectar mattress should you get? First off, in terms of who should get the Nectar mattress, a better option for value shoppers. It is the most affordable mattress of the three, so if you're on a tighter budget, take a look at the Nectar. It's also, I think, a better option for strict back sleepers. It has a better balance of comfort and support, so if you just sleep on your back, take a look at the Nectar. In terms of who should get the Nectar Premier mattress, I think it's a better option for side sleepers and for hot sleepers who want a bit more cooling but still want to save a little bit of money. Lastly, in terms of the Nectar Premier Copper mattress, a better option if you are an extremely hot sleeper. With a cooling cover and also with that phase change material, you should be sleeping cooler on this mattress. And last, if you want the most deluxe kind of durable mattress overall, take a look at the Nectar Premier Copper. At this point, you should know which Nectar mattress is right for your situation. But if you want some more information about any of these mattresses, head over to mattressclary.com for the full written reviews and some great money-saving coupons. We'll see you next time.